Does your tummy hurt? Oh. Hello guys and welcome back to another video. In today's video I wanted to share with you our experience with taking our youngest daughter to the clinic in Ghana for the first time. Unfortunately I believe two or three days after arriving she became ill all of a sudden. She threw up once and started to have diarrhea so I needed to get something to help stop the diarrhea. I'm not 100% sure what caused the diarrhea but I suspect it's the drinking water that we tried, the sachet water. What's up, Aquaman? Mm. I'm about to go. I'm about to go. i to We finally arrived at the MND Medical Center in Insawim and were prompted to create a medical card. For some reason, I thought that would be a physical card, but all it was was patient registration. They just input my daughter's information into the computer and that was 30 Ghana CDs. We were instructed to wait in the waiting area mm -hmm. and then the nurse came ahead and checked her vitals. From there, we went to go wait a little bit longer and we're able to see a staff in the consulting office. I'm assuming this is a doctor of some sort. And as I was discussing her symptoms with the staff, he seemed very adamant about admitting her and giving her IV fluids and running tests. And I was adamant that I was not going to have her admitted and I just needed medication to stop her diarrhea. It just seemed as if he was trying to admit her to get us to spend more money than necessary. But in the end, the medications came up to 180 Ghana CDs plus the 30 Ghana CDs for the medical card. So altogether 210. I was adamant because I knew exactly what caused her problem. So I picked up the prescription and noticed there were other things added on to it, vitamins and something similar to Tylenol, which is all stuff I brought with me. The only thing I didn't have is the medicine to stop the diarrhea. So just a reminder, if you are traveling or moving to Ghana with small children, definitely come prepared with whatever medicines you think they may need, especially considering that they, their body needs time to adjust to the new environment. So bring whatever medicines you're used to giving them, and once you get here, you can take time to find similar products for using in the long run. But also remember that it is okay to seek help, but you are your children's biggest advocate. If it doesn't sound right, if it doesn't feel right, question it and be willing and ready to seek even second and third opinion if you have to. That's nice. I like. Nara, you want some cookies? And uh, me pie bako. Thankfully, we made it through that clinic visit. She was doing okay and she's doing better now. We stopped, of course, to get some snacks like kukunti and fun ice cream and cookies, you know, and just went on about our day. All is well. Just one. Yeah. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Hopefully, it will be helpful to somebody. And as always, be kind to yourself, be kind to others, because everybody is going through something. Thank you, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!